Okay, there's the eagle door. Man, look at all this crap I'm leaving around. I'm gonna go ahead and take those. And I can go to the other door in a minute. <sighs> okay. Why'd I take those? <laughs> um... There's a hole in front of the box that looks like something missing from the mechanism. Uh, I don't have it. Okay, Adler's Diary. Ooh, this will be juicy. I've been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture I discovered in storage. A strange box with a removable dial in the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear on the mechanism, I can hear it faintly clicking like a clock. Without Calibri's help, it has become much harder to coordinate the logistics cadre. If there's anything good to say about that woman, it is how she knows it is how she knows how to make others respect her orders, despite their minuscule stature. I went to see her today, but her room is still locked. I had a dream tonight, another memory of my gestalt life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform. There was a young woman, her hair white as snow, and I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical signs, symbols on them, and asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. I was playing with that mechanical lockbox again, of which I am now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar when I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I have never seen before, some type of engineer with an orange chess piece. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Serapinsky. Sierpinski. Replica memory is not the most reliable. They say, but never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. A little enigma of that box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook, of which all pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bathes a room. More sick, making my work ever, ever harder. How are we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only consolation is that our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, Gestalt workers seem to succumb much too fast for any attempt at treatment. Another diary filled for no benefit but my own satisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet, since I've spent my saved ration marks on that marvelous looking fountain pen. But I guess I'll make use of that notebook. Okay. Elster unit. That is us. That is us. Land survey ship technician replica magpa. Let's see. One second. Okay. A versatile combat engineer unit primarily designed for orbital service. These tough and stoic loners are best suited as specialist sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists. That's me, guys. Especially when their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration would sport bullet resistance armor, plate on their chest and forearms. Since the original neural pattern for this unit was lost with the destruction of the central neural archive on Veneta, New LSTR units have been produced based on a decommissioned unit from the Penrose program. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got here. I picked up the shouty. <laughs> I just got one round. Um, Shrine box. Star map. Star dorm. 
um, bedroom. Okay. So we're going to run back down to the bedroom. Yep, 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 yep. Get out of my way. Okay. that so I need to drop off some stuff uh, because I don't think I can do anything else in here so let's go up the pooping lift that's what I'm gonna call it from now on see ya okay let's go up See if there's anything in here I want real quick. I'm a I'm a I'm a star boy. Okay, so I have to go to the post office next. <laughs> the post box. Yep, yep, yep. Leave me alone. Okay. All right. All right, let's drop off some goodies. Uh, let's drop off the shouty rounds. Let's drop off the repair patch. Let's go ahead and drop off the stun prod. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dump the revolver ocelot. And... Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go lean and mean. I'm gonna go lean and mean. I'm gonna do two slots. Um, let's see here. One second. You hear? You hear the uh, moonlight sonata in the background? Isn't that so good? All right, so we've saved. Now we're going to get out of here, and we're going to go back to with with which we came. I think that's the same. Um, we're going to go back down forever. We're going to juke these suckers out. Oh, yeah. All right. So juke moves aside. We're now going to go back to the room and get the post office key and try not to get any postpartum depression while we go through there. And let's jump over here. And let's go ahead and grab the post box key. And we'll go ahead and get this armor, or excuse me, this ammo while we're here. I don't think there's anything else in this room I need. Uh, there was nothing in here. Alright, so now... Um, let's see... So now we need to go back up to the top, and we need to go to the post office room. I wish there was a way we could get to it through there, but there's not. So let's go up. Uh, 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 up. Okay, there's more. <laughs> Damn it. Um. Oh, shoot. i got to go through that. Okay, let's try to go up one more time. Okay, let's try to go out. Oh, man. No, no, no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Um. Wait. Where where am I? I've lost my bearings. I'm on six. I just went up, I thought. Oh, I can't go up anymore. Okay. All right, that's fine. That's fine. But I'm going to have to go through this room here, and I do not want to go through this room here. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Grab it, grab it! Yep, yep, yep. Okay. God, I am clenching like a mug. Okay. Did I... I didn't load myself... Oh, man, I loaded myself up too much! Um, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, shoot! That is not good! There's two in there. Okay, I gotta go. 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 Out this way. Okay. Alright. 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 Chill with the music, man. We're done. We're done. Okay. Uh, use the post box key. Yep. Okay, what do we got here? Library key, a bit. Yep. Okay. So now. We want to go down, 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 down to B8. All right, let's do that. Let's go out here. I'm getting my bearings, man. Okay, now we on eight. Ooh, what's this? Rotfront. Hoffen für die Zukunft. Hope for the future. It unlocks from the other side. Of course, of course it does. God. Okay. Let's go back up. No, sir! No, sir! Uh, 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 why is there no lift right here? Oh, shoot. Alright. Alright, juke move! Oh my god, I did it! God, that was a hearty juke, dude. Okay. All right. Oh, this worked. Oh man, this worked out good. This worked out really good. Really, really good. Okay, so let's dump off the shit I got. Let's dump off the rounds. Uh, dump off. Oh wait, oh, I need my gun. <laughs> um, keep the library key. Uh, pistol ammo, revolver ammo, shotgun. All right, so I feel I feel pretty good right now. Uh, I do need to equip this. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Okay. Moonlight Sonata. All up in this again. Okay, yeah, let's go. I feel like I'm progressing on this, but man, there's a lot of backtracking I'm doing. Oh boy. Uh, where do I need to go? I need to hit that lift. Alright. Nope. Okay. God, man, I like, I clench my jaw and everything um, when I'm doing that. Alright. Okay, so we got somebody over there in a bad way, and we'll talk to them in just a minute. Okay, so here's the Mina. We fought one of these. When it comes to dangerous cargo, heavy machinery, and hazardous environments, no other model rivals the MNHR units with their high security power armor bodies. Even in lethal radiation, under crushing pressure, and, and in zero G, they keep their calm demeanor and show exemplary teamwork. That's a long ass sentence. Despite their hulking bodies, underneath their face shields, a standard generation three cranial construction can be found, making maintenance and social interfacing as easy as any other replica model. Please note that the MNHR neural pattern is not suited for combat use. For combat applications, the SAPR variant should be used which employs a combat-capable persona in the same frame. For more information, see Schwer Antipanzer Replica Schnapper. Okay. Let's see what this is. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, okay. Alignment error use manual controls. Okay, what what are we what are we looking at here? Oh, I'd see where we're supposed to go. Okay. Let's go over. 
up. Well, now I just got here. If I... <laughs> Damn it. Okay, let's go left, up, right, up. <laughs> well, what have I done? I've got this in such a bad way. Um, all right, let's go up, over, over. Let's go all the way to the left, up, all the way down, down. Will it reset it? Maybe. May I think I just need to reset. Okay. Need it. I mean, not <laughs> I go up, over, over, down, over. Down, over, up. Okay, let's go right. This should slot me. Okay, that's interesting. Let's we'll see what we got here. I know where that goes. Okay, we got our astro lobe. All right, we've we've already talked about the Mina. Mina, Mina, Santa. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Okay, so two more slots. All right, known issues. Okay, great care should be given to the Calibris. Their neural patterns are very unstable, and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influence from others. Like most bioresonant individuals, Calibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop imitating and then broadcasting the emotions of those around them, asking as a sort of amplifier. Okay, While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to their bioresonant connection, neural patterns development in Calibris varies less, other, less than in other models. Yeah. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units of a cadre act as a safety net that buffers some extreme change. Extreme change. However, God, I am. Let me let me just let me take a sip of water and read this better. This is this is just terrible narration. And I apologize. So hang on. Okay, now we're good. However, once a majority of units in a cadre degrade, they will drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it is important to decommission Calibri units instantly when they begin to degrade. For persona stabilization, Calibri should have access to a well-stocked library. Alright, so looks like we are going to see what's going on with this Calibri. Let's combine these two real quick. There we go. Freeze up some more slots. Make sure there's nothing else. Alright, so let's talk to this unit here. Who are you? You're not one of our staff. The others, they've changed. We no longer sing in unison. I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together we guided them all. But now I can't understand their thoughts anymore. I've never been so alone before. They're still together. And I am here. Outside. And they won't let me in. I cannot stand their songs anymore. 
This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. This is the only place I'm safe. I can't go on like this. I wish I'd become like the others too. At least then I wouldn't be alone. I hate this. I hate this. Alright, so I'm going to try something real quick, and this is probably bad. Yeah, that don't, don't help. <laughs> that does not help our situation. <laughs> Alright, so we found a Calibri unit. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So now, let's take stock of what we have. Um... Let's go down here and let's put this Astro Lab in place. Uh, let's see. A strange. Oh, this is the dial. Um, okay, so I need to go back to that dude's office. I was thinking it was something else. So I need to go back to the Adler bedroom. Okay, let's go through here. So I'm really winding down on places to go, which is awesome. Oh yeah, do that! Um, so that that means that this is coming to a crescendo. This this part of the game, I think. We'll see. Use the astrolabe. Yep. Oh, shh. Crap. I didn't. Uh. Oh, dang it. Am I going to have to go back there and look at that thing? All right, I'm not gonna. Oh wait, 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 wait. Star. Circle. Wait a minute. Okay, star. I'm looking at the cards on the desk to see if it gives me any insight. So the pause. The pause and the star are the same. Okay, let's go look at that. think that's going to give me what I need. I'll go look at it, but I don't I don't think that's going to give me what I need. Okay, so I got a I got a mental note of that. I got a mental note of this too. What? Yeah, let's go in here. Let's take a look at this thing. All right. So The star is at the top. That doesn't give me any insight into what I need. That doesn't give me any insight. Is there something else that I could look at? <laughs> One of these days I'm going to screw around and get cut by that thing. Um, okay, there's the eagle. There's the diary. There's the 
repulsor unit. Pause. These represent the states, or excuse me, the planets. Um, okay, so let me let me think about this really quick. So uh, let's see. So the outer planet Okay, wait a wait a minute. Let me let me look at that one more time. Th this thing does give me insight into that. I'm sorry for delaying this, but I really want to get this puzzle right. I got to get it right, man. Um so let's go down here. Let's go down here. <laughs> here okay so the big planet I wonder if it represents those two small planets so rot front ocean world The Red Desert. Okay, so then maybe... So there's two planets that follow the same pathway. So they could represent the pause, maybe? Okay, alright. Let's try, let's try this something. <laughs> I'm getting closer and closer to getting cut by that fool. Alright, let's go up here one more time. Okay. So let's see what we got here. So the outer planet... Excuse me. It's almost like they are... Uh... Okay, so wait a minute. The twin planets... That's got to represent the twin planets. And then that would... Oh, shit! I got it! <laughs> Dude, I was just clicking around. Oh, man, that worked. Um, awesome. Shrine Diary. Oh, this is going to be juicy. I've started yet another new diary. How time flies. The work is dull and monotonous as ever in Sierpinski. But a bright light illuminates my day. Today I was invited to a meeting by Commander Falk. And she was as, as magnificent as ever. Another day passes. During my meeting with Commander today, I felt the strangest sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly, our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt so strongly the sensation of deja vu as I have these past few days. When I checked the pages of my diary today, I noticed that for some inexplicable reason, I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. What an embarrassing mistake. Yeah, he, he did. Every day feels a, lit, feels a bit like I've lived it before, and even stronger is the sensation that something is, somehow, just slightly out of place. 
Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated today? Has the loss of my beloved commander finally gotten to my mind? Am I going insane? I fear that will happen to me if anyone finds out. I fear what will happen to me. I am alone in this. If they discover my notes, I'll be decommissioned too. Uh-oh. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Is this really madness? When I read my pages of my diary, I call events that never happened. A. Yesterday that never happened, yet it feels as real as the one I actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect of my mind. It feels as though in this room I peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I, too, have become sick like the others without realizing, but I will not succumb. A slow accumulation of reproduction errors, a gradual corruption of information, a story misremembered, slowly morphing with each retelling, like genetic material. Okay, I do not know, but I will find out. The answer lies below. I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there, in the mine. Okay, so this guy went nuts, or this replicant. Okay, so we've got we've got the key now. Let me go ahead and uh, oh, I won't use it. So now the only thing we've got to do is this right here. Um, let me go out here quick though. I would like to go ahead and save before I do any of this. Okay, I'll clean this up. Door. Okay, let's go on up. Let's go on up. Go on up. Let's go on in. Okay, here's where it all begins. So we are at the end, I feel, of this stage. And so. Yep, I think I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and save and be done with this. I hope somebody watches this somehow, some way, someday. But if you don't, you know what time it is. Peace.